Welcome. In this video I'm going to demonstrate how easy it is to customize Scout to meet your needs. Our customers tell us that when upgrading from an old console to a new console system, a primary concern is having to retrain their console operators or dispatchers. In most environments, the dispatchers are very busy and simply don't have the time to learn a new console's operation or to adapt to a different look and feel. They want their new console to closely mimic the old one's operation so they can minimize the impact on their business while still taking advantage of new technologies. So let's take a look at how Scout allows you to do just that. Right from the start, Scout comes with default settings that allow you to quickly build a working dispatch screen. Here I have a very basic screen. If I select a radio or a telephone line, it turns red and says select. If I want to put one in unselect or to simply listen to it or monitor, it turns green and says unselect. If I pick a telephone line and then change to a different telephone line, it automatically goes to hold. For some that are upgrading from a previous Aptek product, these kinds of default settings may be all you need to put your new Scout system into service. However, if you're moving from a legacy console that used a different color scheme, different text, or maybe even a different operating procedure, having to change could disrupt your business. Let's take a look at how easy it is to customize Scout for your particular application. This is Project Manager, or PM. This unique tool allows you to manage your entire Scout deployment all from one location. While there are many configuration elements in PM, we're going to concentrate on just a couple of them today. So first, let's open up a screen. So here in the center section of PM, you see that we have a working screen here, a console screen. And this is the one we were just looking at. We have the two radio circuits at the top and the two phones under that. So let's make some changes. First, let's move the two radio lines around. So I'll move the west radio over. Move the east to where west was. And now I'll swap the two around. It's pretty easy. Now let's move these four endpoints down on the screen. We're going to make room for something a little later. Now, for the telephones, it could be interesting to highlight those in, a, in some manner. So I'm going to look down in the bottom left here. And I'm going to pick a control called a text label. When I pick a, when I pick a, a control on the screen, the right hand side of Project Manager shows me the properties for that. So I'm going to change the background color of this text label to something a little darker. Let's say a darker gray color. I'm going to change the text to telephone. And I'll put it up at the very top. And finally I'm going to change the font for that. And I'll make it a larger font, and let's make it Arial Bold. And then I'll move it over, place it here, and I'll send it to the back. So now I've highlighted those two telephone lines on the screen with a box with a different color. Something I also need on the screen is a hold pad. If I have a telephone selected, I need a way to place it on hold. I'm going to copy one of my function pads, paste it. I'll drag it down here. And now that it's selected, I look on the right hand side again. And I pick a different function for that. Hold. So now I've got a whole pad on the screen. I'd like to take this push to talk bar and make it larger as well to make it easier to operate.
also I'd like to add a logo to the top of my screen so here I'll get rid of my text label and instead I'll pick an image Finally, let's change some colors for when pads or, or endpoints are selected in an unselect. For that, I'll go to Pad Settings. First, let's change Unselect. We'll make the unselect color, instead of being green, Let's make it blue. And I want the unselect text now to say monitor. And also on the pad. Then if I pick my line pad. I want to change the color for the select state. And let's change it to green. Okay, so now I've changed my select color and my unselect color, as well as changing the unselect text to monitor. So I'll save my project. I'll push the project by clicking Send All Project Files. And now, let's go back and take a look at our Scout screen to see how it looks. So here's our new Scout screen. We have our AppTech logo here at the top. When I select a radio now, it says select, but it's green instead of red. If I want to monitor a radio, it turns blue and says monitor. I have the bigger push to talk bar. And it only took a few seconds to make these changes. I hope that quick demonstration shows you how easy it is to customize a Scout console. Thank you.